Hey everybody. Hey everyone at Coil Park. Brad here. We're gonna do a sit and fit class. Should take about 20, 22 minutes, maybe a little bit more, depending on uh, how long we stretch. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna start from the top, work our way down. We're gonna stretch every part of our body before we begin the workout. And then we're gonna do uh, five or six body weight movements, followed by six or seven uh, weighted movements. We're going to use dumbbells. So you'll need a chair and you'll need one pair of dumbbells for this workout. Okay. Okay. First up, we're starting here. Let's go ahead and rotate the neck. So you're going to draw circles with your nose. I'm going to do three each direction. One, two, three. So we're not grinding the spine. I'm using my nose to make circles. Two, three. Now I'm gonna look. Instead of tall, I'm gonna look left. Let's look right. Try to look over your shoulder. Let's look up. Close your mouth. Let's look down, chin to chest. Shoulders, let's roll them back three times. One, two, three, forward. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do the hands right here. Just gonna make figure eights. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now it's open, close. Open, close, open, open, open. Okay, let's do each finger. Make sure they still work. Okay, palm up. Pull your fingers down. Right there, stretch it up. Straight on. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, palm up, pull it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, palm down. Push down on your knuckles. Yeah. Five, four, three, Two, one. Other side, push down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna reach up, reach to the side. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, cross your arms. You're gonna sit up tall, you're gonna rotate right around the base of the spine. Three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna twist. So I'm gonna look over my shoulder and use my chair for leverage. I'm gonna look over your shoulder, okay? You're gonna hold it for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shoes off there. Okay, so we're there, working our way down. Let's see, let's do the elbows. Let's go right here, palm to palm. Open the book, palm to palm, back to back. Palm to palm, open the book, palm to palm, back to back. Two, 
Two more. Two. One. Okay, now bring them in knuckle to knuckle. We're gonna extend out one at a time. Flip. 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 So I flex my wrist right inside there. Flip. Flip. It's like you're knocking. Knock. So you move your hand. Knock. 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 Okay. Okay, let's go right here. Knees are together. We're gonna do the clamshell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, two steps apart. Let's go back a little bit here for you. Two steps apart, so one, two. Okay, now we're gonna bring our knees in together. One, two, three. We do this because usually when you stumble or you trip over your own feet, your legs get put into strange positions that you're probably not used to. So this can help us loosen up and limber up the hips so that we don't fall. Two, one. Okay, now I'm gonna stick one foot out, straight out. Now I wanna reach for my toe. Let's go back here. So right there. I'm just gonna reach as far as I can. If you can't touch your toe, put your hands right here above your knee. You're just gonna bend forward. If you can, I'm gonna reach down. I'm gonna use both hands. I'm gonna hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back, other side. Stick it out. Same thing. Hands right above the knee. Bend forward or reach for your toe. Okay, ready? All the way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, it's okay. Okay, let's do both feet straight out. Same thing. We're gonna reach out, touch your toes. Ready? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, bring it back. Okay, let's do the ankles. I'm gonna pick my toes up. Ready? One, two, bring them as high as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, scooch them back just a little bit. Now push your toes into the ground. We're gonna lift our heels. One, two, turn my feet sideways so you can see. Three, see? Four, five, six. I'm gonna turn them inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Side my foot. Inside. Outside, inside, outside. Other side, outside, inside. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Okay, now let's pick our feet up. Let's make circles here. I'm gonna go the same direction, opposite directions. You can do the same direction, doesn't matter. Try to make as big a circle as you can. If your circles look like blocks, then we need to do this a little more often other side or other direction. Okay, now let's do foot pedals. So you can do like this. Ankle mobility is very important when you're trying to walk more efficiently. Okay, now let's go little little hills. You're gonna make a little M. Little hills. This is good too if you sit at a desk all day. This is great, feels great on the feet. Okay, now let's go with little U's. U. Try to bend your toes back as far as you can. Okay, good. Come back a little bit more forward here. Okay, we're gonna do some moves here. We've got one, two, three, four, five moves without weights, and then we're gonna do some with weights, okay? So you don't need your dumbbells just yet. First move we got, hands are together, feet are together. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. We're gonna do this uh, chair jack, 
So you're gonna open like this and then bring it back. Okay, ready? Let's do 10. One, two, three, four. You can do one side at a time if you need to. Six, like this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You pick. If you need to downgrade a move, downgrade the move, okay? Don't be afraid. Okay, we got hands together, jackknife. So I'm gonna bring up a knee and cross my hand. One, two, try to get your knees as high as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, the next one, knees, leg extension. So you're gonna hold on to your chair. We're gonna stick both feet straight out, full extension. Ready? One, two, Three, four, you gotta keep the knees healthy. Five, that includes moving them. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, last one, let's hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Okay, the next move we got, it's called the ladder. So we're gonna move one hand and one arm, or sorry, one arm and one leg opposites. So I'm going to raise this and pick up a leg and put it down. Just like you're climbing a ladder. And you use your hand to grasp. Okay, ready? Let's do 10. One, two, pull it down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay, the next one Sit and stand. So we're gonna use the chair. If you need to, my back's away. Remember, nose over toes. I'm gonna sit and stand five times. Okay, ready? So if you need to use the chair, you can. One. Two. You stand as wide as you need to. Three. Four. One more. Five. Okay, grab your dumbbells, straight portion. Okay, first move, shoulder press. Right here, we're doing each of these for eight reps. Okay, we're gonna go straight up, just like that. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Okay, bring them down. Okay, next one, shoulders. I'm gonna bring them in right here. My shoulders are back. I'm gonna stick my elbows out like little chicken wings. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, next one, tricep extensions. So right here, straight out. You're gonna bring them right here to your shoulders and then go straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring them down. Okay, now we have the curl. So right here in your lap, you're gonna bring them straight up to your shoulders. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? The row, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have these palm up, we're gonna stick them right out front, you're gonna pull straight back to your hips. So squeeze your shoulder blades, ready? One, it's for your chest, two. Two, chest and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
calves. Okay, I'm gonna leave these right here on my knees, just like earlier. I'm gonna push my toes into the floor. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Okay, the last one. You can put these dumbbells down. We're gonna pick our feet up, both feet. So you're gonna hold on. We're gonna lean back just a little bit. We're gonna pick both our feet up. Ready? One, it's for your abs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Ooh, getting sweaty. Okay, that's one round. We're gonna do all that again one more time. Okay, first one, I guess chair jacks. Okay, let's move through it a little quicker this time. Ready? Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next one, we've got the cross. Hands are in the front, jackknife. I'm gonna pick a knee up and cross. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knee extensions. Sit back. Feet are gonna go straight up. Gonna raise them up like this. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's hold the last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Good. Okay, we got two more. Ladders. Remember here, opposites. So you go up, up. And don't forget to grab. Use your hand. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, sit and stand. Let's do six this time. Remember, you can stand as wide as you want to be. Come in more narrow if you want. Whatever works for you. Nose over toes. Ready? One. Two, three, four. Remember, squeeze your booty when you stand up. Five, squeeze it. Last one. Six, squeeze it. Whoo, getting sweaty. Okay, grab your dumbbells. Long stretch. Okay, first one, shoulder press. I'm gonna go right here. Turning them out. Let's do 10, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, bring them down. Right here, shoulders, get chicken wings. Shoulders are back, elbows are going out, ready? One, two, your elbows don't need to go any higher than your own shoulder. Four, five, six, seven, keep your shoulders back as well. Eight, nine, ten. What I mean by keep your shoulders back is don't have them up here. Have them back, point them out. So keep your shoulder blades squeezed. Okay, triceps. Now, if this one was too hard, going like that, you can use one dumbbell, this, behind your head, or just keep it right here in front, and just stick it out. Forehead, out, forehead, out. And I'm gonna use two, so you need to pick the one that you can do, okay? One, two, straight up. Three, it's a push. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, we're just pushing away, push away. Or like I said, the other one, it's like this. Forehead, front, forehead, front. Okay, we got the curl right in the lap. Bring them to your shoulders, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three more. We got the row. They're coming back to our hips, going up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, right here on your knees. Calf press, going up on our toes. Ready? One, two, three, four, three, four. Push your big toe right into the ground. Five, six, Seven. Push down on your knees with your weights. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, let's drop those. Whew, feeling it. Okay, we're doing a leg tuck. Last one. You can hold on to your chair if you want. I'll show you. See, my back is not on the chair because you want to be able to lean back just a little bit. Okay, ready? Eight. Seven. Six. Five, try with no hands. Four, just kidding. Three, two, hold it, hold it. Ah. Good job. Okay, everybody, that's all I got for you today. Hope that was an all right workout for you. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.